Hello, everybody. I am Sharon Rose Master Sil Di Diego, and today's topic is Atomy Journey from Consumer to Income Part. Okay, the first step on the journey, as you can see, is to start to use Atomy products. Atomy is an online shopping marketplace with very high quality products and very low prices that are below wholesale. So the first step in the journey is to start to use the products. And this is the journey of the new consumer, um, but how do you help that new consumer? Well, you're gonna have uh, some information about your friend or family member, and you're gonna find the best one or two products to start them with, because they're gonna already tell you what their situation is. And based on that, you're gonna introduce one or two products to them as a consumer. So if they're into skincare, or if they have a skin problem, that's probably gonna be the one you start with. But let's say they're really into health and supplements or they have a problem with health, then that might be the one to start with. So that's where everybody starts with Atomy because we're product driven and we only make money in Atomy when we use the product. So the first benefit for everybody is as a consumer. After they use the product, what you're gonna do is you're gonna call them up within two days and you're gonna say, hey, how did you like the product, Uncle Ralph? And what is Uncle Ralph going to say? 50% of the time, he's going to say, oh, I didn't get to use that toothpaste yet. Or, oh, I didn't use the shampoo. So then you're going to say, Uncle Ralph, could you please try it? And then I'll call you back in two days. And so that's usually the first conversation. And then after you call back Uncle Ralph a few days later, you're going to say, how did you like it? He says, well, you know, there was so much suds on that toothpaste. You say, Uncle Ralph, oh, it's I forgot to tell you, you only need a small amount. So by introducing the products and how to use it and following up, you're gonna to try to get customers to be very satisfied with those products. So that's the first step. And then after that, you can encourage them to try some more products and they'll try two or three more new products. And eventually they, like most people, are gonna love Atomy products. And they're going to voluntarily change their main market to Atomy. I mean, they're going to be so excited. Look at this excitement, right? Did we all have this moment who are longtime consumers? Anybody? Give me a thumbs up. Yeah, people love the products. They're going to start to shop for themselves. They're going to love the products. And even more, you're going to find out what they're using and take care of them. And so they're going to continue now, you know, if they started with makeup, now they're going to start with some food products or, all, or avocado oil or other products. So they're going to really change everything in their kitchen, their bathroom, everything to the Atomy uh, brand. And not only that, they're so excited that they can't help but share and recommend products to other people. So just like any other decent person, if you find something good, let's share it. And you're going to find that your consumer is going to love to share their products with their aunties, their ates, and their friends and their coworkers, as we see here on this call. So the average consumer will start to share products. And that's an awesome thing, because why not? If you find something good, right, you're going to share it and it gets delivered right to your home or your center. And it's so convenient. And the whole world is doing that. So that's a very typical first few steps of an Atomy consumer. There's nothing different about it compared to buying anywhere else in terms of changing your behavior. The good things about Atomy is that the price is low and the quality is high. And you have all the convenience of online shopping. So you just have to nurture that person to become their own motivated consumer. But while you're doing that, guess what? They may not know it, but you're going to start to have a customer journal. So you're going to have a page on this customer. And maybe you know them already, but sometimes there are friends that you haven't kept in touch with for a while. Or maybe you'll meet some new people um, by chance, maybe wherever. And you're going to start to make notes about their personal situation, if they have a health concern, what's their family situation. For example, maybe their child has acne and you can recommend the AC Cure Special for health, maybe their husband has diabetes. So you'll recommend the hemoheme and the uh, milk thistle. And so, and you know that, you know, uh, their personal situation is, hey, they just got laid off or they want to retire soon. So you're going to gather all this information. Now, some people like 
do that on a notebook. Other people like to use a computer. It's up to you. And you'll keep notes also of what products they tried already and what next products you can introduce them to. Or maybe they've said, I'd like to try this next month. So it's a great thing to have this kind of a journal because after a while, you have a lot of different consumers who are using the products and you want to be able to easily um, keep uh, information there. So not only for you, but you'll see later, you want to be able to share this also with your sponsor. And even you're going to start to make a note about this person's dream. Maybe somebody wants to retire earlier, 10 years earlier. Or maybe you have a young whippersnapper, that's a young person, who's only maybe 30 years old. And you say, hey, with Adamy, if you work hard, uh, you could retire in five years. Then they may tell you what their dream is. They want to go and have a, a wonderful um, farm, or maybe they want to sail the ocean, whatever it may be. So you're going to start to get to know this person. It's not really a sales book. It's a life book. So you're having a customer journal of that person's life and what they need and what they desire, and you're really getting to know them. So in all this, you're going to come to a bridge for that person's journey where there's a chance to move them even deeper into the Atomy lifestyle. I have a little picture of a bridge here because it's like moving from a consumer to a deeper level of relationship with Adam. And what is that? This is when you start to give them simple explanations. Uh, and we call this showing the plan. And you talk about different things, not just the products now. What do you talk about? Well, the first reason you start are able to do this is that you believe yourself in the product. Now, this is your, your side of the journey. You already use all these products. You believe in these products. So you're very glad and confident to show them the plan more than the products and what Atomy is all about. And you've been watching videos, so you're learning more about the company and about the compensation system, and you've been attending meetings like this one. So you're hearing people's testimonials, and so you're starting to get all this different information from your own experience, from other experiences, and from learning from videos, et cetera. And you're even starting to practice this. And that's where you're showing the plan to your friend who's a consumer. Because sometimes you've made a presentation at a meeting. Maybe you've already started sharing in the parking lot or at a reception or at a wedding or just a birthday party. So you have your three minute speech to tell why, how you met Atomy, why you love Atomy products, and why you love the app Atomy opportunity. So you have all this um, information and experiences and you're confident. So in a natural conversation with the consumer, you are able to share and show the plan. And what you're doing here is you're guiding the consumer to be not only a, 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 a random or an occasional consumer, but you're helping them to go from a loyal a consumer to a loyal consumer who may use 20 or 30 products, right? They're crazy about the products and you're helping them to move to be an auto consumer. So you are selecting the best products that are curated from Atomy to introduce them gradually, you know, every week or every month, you're introducing to them to a few new products. You know what they need and what their family needs. So you're being able to give them satisfaction care service to make sure they love the product and, and they love the brand and that they're getting all the benefits from Atomy not just the savings, but the health benefits, the beauty benefits, and they really get to appreciate the value of Atomy. At the same time, you're getting them to be self-sufficient. You know, They know how to go on the website to order. You're starting to tell them that they can look and see PV coming up in their office, their free My Office uh, uh, tracking in the back end of the website, you know, next to the shopping mall. And you're asking them to join the Cacao Talk. So they can sign up uh, with our groups and uh, share videos together, share testimonials together, ask questions about certain products or certain conditions, and you know, share information about the products and the company and everything. And especially Facebook Messenger group, we share all about the products and people can ask questions. So this is all free information as part of our system. And as they're becoming an auto consumer, they feel really great because they feel like they're in a consumer club of people that are like-minded, like-hearted, and they're just loving 
um, atomy. And the fruit of all this work, because you're not a salesperson in atomy, you're a guide and you are helping them to become better in their life. And so you're building trust by caring for them as a human being. And so you're building this trust and you're developing deep roots together in relationship. It's not a sales relationship. It's a consumer club caring. And sometimes we say we're all going to be successful. Someone's going to have own an island. Someone's going to own a plane, a boat, a mountain. And we're going to share all of our wonderful assets, not just our atomy assets. And so this is the path we're doing to create these very tight relationships together. So it's very easy for you to gradually give them more information about the products, tell them about the company, how it's you know, developing new products to help certain diseases, or it's, it's opened up in new countries and maybe they have a relative there. So you're gonna slip in a sentence or two when you talk about the products and you're gonna indicate that they can take cash back and you're gonna try to help them to realize that, hey, their shopping is not just great, but that they can get some cash back. And later you'll tell them that there's actually big money because when they see you going on more vacations, they'll wonder, hey, you're working at me just like me, or you're using at me just like me, and you don't have a great job maybe, but you're getting this extra cash. So they'll be curious at this point. And then because their friends love the products that they've been recommending, at the right time, you're gonna say, hey, your friend, Mary, she seems to love the product. She's already using 10 products. She already went on herself and she's buying by herself. If you register her on the, on, on the one leg, we have two legs anatomy, which you can find out in another presentation, then, then you can get $60 cash back. And Mary is gonna get some PD for her later so that she can get some cash back. So your friend is gonna say, oh, okay, I love these products so much. So I'll put my friend, Mary there. Um, Uncle Ralph, we talked about. And so Uncle Ralph gets his $60 check and he suddenly um, is surprised in a way because you told him that he might get cash back, but now he sees it in his bank account. And at that point, he realizes that, wow, you were really telling the truth. And this is a great time when they opened up their mind and their heart because you've been uh, building this trusting relationship with the products. Everything you said was true. You helped them. Now you told them they could get cash back and they got their check. And now's a great time to show your vision of your why, why you love Atomy. And that this is not just a $60 opportunity every day, but this is a big, big business where you can make thousands of dollars a month and really have residual income. So you start to change the conversation into the opportunity. And along the way, as you're nurturing this relationship, you're listening mostly to their stories, what the opportunities are they're looking for, what their big health problems are. Do they have any opinions on network marketing, negative or positive? So you're gonna um, use this to guide them and to you know, address any concerns. And the other 30% of your talking is gonna be questioning and agreeing. You know, Maybe when you started to introduce the product to them, um, they were fully employed, everybody was healthy, this or that. But one year later, maybe somebody lost their job or they found out from their doctor that they have some uh, rheumatoid arthritis and you can recommend Hemohe. So, you know, as, as time goes on, you're going to use this. You found out their interest in their needs and you're going to share information one by one. So now what happens? They've loved the products. They trust you. They've received the cash back, probably by now they've received several cash back checks. And now it's a great time to bring them across another bridge in their journey. And that is to create a well-prepared invitation to meet your sponsor and to talk about really the big opportunity. So how does that go? Now, this is a really key bridge to cross because you've developed the relationship and now's a chance to introduce a sponsor. So how does this go? Well, we use the ABC method. The sponsor is A, me, I'm the one who's guiding my consumer, I'm B, and C is the prospect, uh, the new consumer. Now, the first step is to prepare. So if you've been doing what we've been talking about, you know, taking some notes, getting to trust them, you know a lot about your prospect and you just need to have an update at this time when they're ready. And then what do you do with that information? You share it with your sponsor 
before the meeting. You tell them all about who they are, what they do, what their health concerns are, how about their family. You give them a nice briefing before the meeting. That's the preparation. And at this stage, you are in charge to share that information and to set up that meeting, whether it's Zoom or in person, depending on the situation. Now comes the big day, right? So what do we do at the big day? Well, I'm the guide, but at the meeting, I am the observer. Now I'm going to be listening intently, looking at their eyes, taking notes. Um, and before the meeting, I've already told the prospect how great my sponsor is, how um, wonderfully caring they are, how they know Atomy so well, both the products and the company and how to make money and how you respect them so much. So all you do is say, this is the sponsor I told you about, this is so-and-so, and now you listen. And let the sponsor drive the car, meaning drive the conversation. You know, the prospect only heard about the sponsor, so they're gonna listen very well. So the sponsor is gonna try to connect with them personally, um, establish some credibility very briefly, then start to talk about their, you know, the products and the company and the opportunity and try to gauge their interest in with what their dreams are and how Atomy could beat their dreams. So again, you're observing and the sponsor is driving this and the prospect may be a tough cookie at the beginning, you know, a little bit reserved because they're not, maybe you push them into it a little early or maybe not, but they're always a little cautious with a new person. So let the sponsor warm them up and drive that car. And then by the end of the meeting, it's a chance to make the next step schedule. So for example, you and the sponsor, make sure before the meeting ends, what's the next step? Is there another product that the prospect could benefit from? Would they like to find more about the company um, or about the compensation plan? Then maybe they could see a video. Maybe it's the right time to invite them to come to one of these meetings. So that's gonna be the follow-up step that you're gonna schedule before the end of the sponsor meeting. Now it's back to me again. After the meeting goes on and I've promised to send them information, videos, or set up another uh, in meeting uh, to attend the uh, group meeting, then I have to follow through and, on my promises. So I'm gonna to talk to the prospect and I'm also gonna ask them what they thought. You know, they heard a lot of information. What are they thinking? Are they serious and interested to come to the meeting and take the next step to join the Atomy family? So I'm going to find all that out. And then I'm going to find out and tell my sponsor, give them a briefing of the after meeting briefing. What is the prospect thinking? Should we have a follow-up meeting? Should we start to train them in a small group? Uh, what's going to happen? So that's the ABC method. And this is so important, um, the way it's done, but more importantly, this is a great way to leverage the synergy of your sponsor and the team to help your consumer um, move forward in their journey to Atomy as a business incoming person. You see, you can't do this alone. And that's, um, that would be a tip is don't try to do any of the, all of this alone. You know, at the right time, you're going to already be briefing your sponsor probably when the person is shifting over as their main market. Um, you may even have had the sponsor give them information about certain products. Um, so they may have met them briefly before this major invitation to talk about the opportunity of uh, business and income. But that's what this is, it's a group effort. So you are not alone. And the faster you work together with your sponsors, the quicker you can make your partners. But it's not done yet. Now you've opened their mind and heart to the new opportunity of income from Atomy. You know, real income, we can make 2,000 a month as a, an auto sales master, up to 100,000 a month as an imperial master, but they don't know any of that yet. So after they open their eyes that you can make thousands of dollars a month, what you have to do is strenuous follow through. Now you're gonna give them much more information about mastige of the high quality products, and the low price, the unlimited levels, tell them it's a consumer-centered system and explain that it's global marketing, a big business. They'll learn some of it on videos, but especially by coming to meetings. So we wanna really transfer the passion to each other. And so you're gonna to wanna to 
talk about our team, that we are a premier line. We have a very clear team goal for people to be successful. Our sponsors and teammates are very passionate and very fun, right? We're all very fun and, and uh, good people. And also that we're all committed to go together. Again, we're all committed to each other's success. So you want to convey that to them and have them come and see firsthand uh, who we are and what we do. And we welcome all the people that are new here today. And um, so what is this? We've worked so hard to make them uh, and see the vision of being an auto consumer and loyal to, to be loyal to the Atomy brand products. And now we've transferred their passion to be seeking to be a business partner who makes uh, serious residual income. And so how do we check this? Well, we have to make sure that they're impressed by the opportunity and answer any questions. We want to see how they're now dreaming of success with Atomy. You know, everybody has a vision as a child, but we sometimes forget our vision of what we wanted to be when we grew up. And so with Atomy, we have a tool to realize our dreams. So we have to help them dream again of a great life that they can have for them and their family. And then we want to see them commit, commit to work together with our team, you know, with you who are the guide and the immediate sponsor and also our team members. And really important is for them to not just say their commitment, but to show their commitment by attending these weekly meetings that we have. We have weekly meetings for the team. We have monthly meetings with the larger group. We have company-wide meetings. And also to introduce them to do the eight core. And of course, we want to make sure that they're still loving the products. You know, if someone uh, gets to this point, and they're not really crazy about the products, then probably the timing was too early. And um, they have to be able to love the products and use the products in order for them really to succeed as an income earner. So that's just a checkpoint too. So if they are committed and come, then that is great. And we've been a successful guide. And what happens then? Well, they are really, truly an active partner who's coming to meetings and and doing their own thing. And guess what? Now you help them because they're already introducing other people to have them guide other people and you're their sponsor. And so you're gonna repeat this same journey for your now new business partner with their consumers. So it's a, a virtuous cycle of helping people to just go through this simple journey from customer to income earning partner of Adam. And guess what? While you were doing this, you applied all these eight core habits. You may not have noticed, but you were watching videos, attending meetings, using products, showing the plan, spreading to consumers, consulting your sponsor and building trust. And you were taking notes on your eight core. If you haven't seen this, then this is how, this is very simple, just a list of actions. And by the way, you were conducting success steps four to seven. They were applied. For example, invite, show the plan, follow up, follow through, and consultation. So in that very simple journey, you were doing all the techniques of helping yourself be successful and helping other people be successful. That's the simple Atomy journey from customer to income business partner. You can see it's quite simple in a way, but there's a lot behind it. And thank you all for coming to listen. That's the end of my uh, presentation today. Thank you again for your interest and let's all help each other on our journeys as a team to be successful and to live a wonderful life that is promised to all of us, especially using Atomy as both an income tool, a health tool, and a tool for loving our neighbors. Thanks again.